not as bad as these people say it is, except it kind of is. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, it's been four months since I reviewed Hookman. I, I'm really slow at this. But admittedly, after season 12 season finale, I was a little bit burnt out, I was a little bit, I was bummed out. I wasn't a big fan of the season finale of season 12. Here's hoping that season 13 is a better product. However, bugs! This is an episode that I was actually kind of looking forward to seeing the comments for, because this has been an episode that's been widely regarded as one of the worst episodes they ever made for the show. I don't think it's that bad. Admittedly, the ending's dumb, but I don't think it's as bad as they say it is. Sure, the idea of bugs being enemies is kind of interesting, and I'm kind of meh, as well as the whole ancient Indian burial ground. They were going to have to use that stereotype at least once, and they did, and it was a. Uh. So there are some scares that are actually not too bad. I actually like the idea of people being alive by bugs, because that's terrifying to me, and they do it decent-ishly. But really, it comes down to the ending. The ending is dumb, because we are supposed to believe that they fight off bugs for the entire night. The entire night, which lasts... Five minutes? It was really bad pacing. Um, in the end, they're all kind of just like doing this. They should all have been covered with bazillion wasp bites. They all should have died. But, eh, like the whole... It was kind of a retrospective look at the idea of the conflicting views of their father by Sam and Dean through the young boy who was trying to convince his father that shit be bad in that neighborhood. And it's kind of cool to see the reflecting going back and forth. Like when they're trying to tell the kid what to say to his dad to get him out of the house, Sam says, make him believe, make him understand, make him believe in you. And Dean just grabs the phone and is like, don't do that. Just tell him you have a pain in your right side and that you need to go to the hospital. And he looks at Sam afterwards and is like, make him believe you. And that's a great introspective into the re relationships of the brothers. Do we need a 42 minute episode about bug eating people to get that? Not entirely. And like I said, the ending is not the best at all. And I got some comments from you guys as well, so I'm gonna read some here. This one's from Kay Scrutton. As hilarious the gay jokes were for me in Bugs, even the first time watching it, when it ended, there was something that was really bothering me and I couldn't put my finger on it. I realized that it, this was showing it to, to a friend the ending is super rushed. So Sam and Dean go into the house at the same time and the horde of flies and bees show up and I think this was around midnight in the episode, and then they're in the house for maybe four, 10 minutes at the most, and the sun is up. Also, the sun rises gradually, bringing the light up until the sky is lit, right? Well, according to Supernatural, it takes five seconds for the sun to completely rise. What's even worse is in the retrospective before season 10, Robert Singer said that, uh, said that they knew Bugs was, not, was going to be terrible, and they practically begged Eric Kripke not to do it. They had to CGI in bees because the real ones they filmed couldn't be seen uh, or the cameras that they had. One thing I can give the episode credit for is that it gave us a time with uh, it gave us that line from Chuck in 11 <laughs> in season uh, 11 episode 20 with the last time I saw that look in, in an editor's face I had just handed in bugs. And got another one here from Rob Hanna. For bugs despite all the negativity this episode gets I loved it. The effects were lousy but the story about the Native American curse just felt so real. Supernatural usually uses stereotypical Canadian Mexican and later on they do Native Americans for comedy of course but this was one just was clearly not did not and I guess that this is why I like the episode so much. The gay jokes were hilarious too, and the kid is Sam Alfie. Well, the actor is anyways. Oh yeah, okay, now I get it. The kid in this episode would reappear as one of the angels who was a pizza boy later on this in the show. Shit, I'm... wow, that's kind of interesting. But that was like a, almost like a 10 year, how long of a break was that? Anyways, guys, in the end, I'll give Bugs a 3 out of 7. It's not awful, but it's definitely an episode that only is remembered basically for its title and the controversy around it, as well as just the lauded 
sort of <laughs> sort of appreciation the episode gets. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Home next. Home was a very interesting episode. This was actually the first time that Mary made a physical appearance since the first episode in which he died. It also had this uh, African American lady who was uh, she was a spiritualist. She was like a ghost reader and all this stuff. I loved her character, and she never came back once in the entire show. So, I'm looking forward to that one. Give me your thoughts in the comments below about what you think, and I'll try and say some of them in the review for the next episode whenever I get around to that. Also, October 13th is coming around, so that means Season 13 is coming around, and yes, I will be reviewing the episodes for as long as I can handle them. <laughs> as long as the show has gone back on course. Mary beat Lucifer with holy ring gauntlets, with freaking fisticuffs, with... Are you kidding me? Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys later.